We're gonna be talking now <clears throat> with William, who lives right up here with wild horses, a lot of them. How is it feasible to rewild a horse? We've got over 55,000 wild horses now stuck in pens, uh, thanks to the Bureau of Land Management and some Forest Service you know, groups. So, magic question, magic word, rewild. Explain to me how that works. Wild horses, and it doesn't matter if they're considered, the semantics don't matter to me whether they're feral, they're all, they're all wild horses. When you take a horse and you capture it out of the, out of the wilderness or the wild, right? you haven't taken the wild out of the horse, you've just taken it out of its habitat. So if it's in a corral at the BLM or wherever, or if it's you know coming down out of the mountains into somebody at rancher's land, Rewilding is a, is a simple solution that puts horses where they belong. Uh, rewilding is the best thing you can do, and that, that can be uh, where we take horses out of the BLM corrals and put them into areas where they're beneficial and they're worth $72,000 a horse with fuel reduction, or relocate. If you've got horses in conflict with ranching or oil or gas, why fight? You know, you don't want to ever have a fight with your children at your feet. I mean, these guys, have they're out money us all day long. Um, and they have the politics behind them. And trying to force a bad position gets the horses killed. That's what it does. These advocates that force a bad position are guaranteeing a bad outcome for the horses. If you just move them away from the conflict into an area where they're happy, like up here, these horses love it up here in the wilderness. And, they're, and, they're, and their populations are controlled by predators. It also maintains a genetic vigor. So rewilding is, is actually the solution we need. And that's what Wild Horse Fire Brigade does. We rewild the horses.